I'm, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm feeling led to kind of speak on a few set of topics that I think are pretty powerful. I'm going to showcase my journey on becoming wealthy. And I want to highlight one very important thing before I begin to address uh, my, my journey to wealth and health, radical health. In both things, in the accomplishments that I uh, I will soon to be soon to be acquiring, and the wealth that is soon to be uh, bestowed upon me and given to me, God's name will always be praised. Jesus will always be the truth, the way, and the life. And I will never be greater than He that is in heaven, who has done all things for a, a mortal weakling, not a weakling, but a mortal human like myself. I do understand this. In this reality. In order for you to really get by, in order for you to really see things change, in order for you to move things forward, you need money. And for a long time, I used to th think that God and money don't mix. And I've come to a realization that that's wrong. God, the creator of all things and the creator of this universe and the universe himself, the energy source, is the creator of this energy source. Money is a currency that we use and we attribute a certain status to, but if we really look at what money is, money is a transfer of energy, all right? You're transferring energy, the waves are being transferred and currency is being paid for whichever endeavor you provide or do. Greed is the root of the devil. Greed is greed Greed is the devil. Having millions of cars, having all of the money, having all of the wealth, having all of the abundance. And that is not of God. With my wealth, with things that I will be helping be able to do and the people that I'll be able to help, the Lord's name will be glorified. And there are three different subsectors of people that I really want to help in my lifetime before my time is done. And I'm going to do that work, and you're going to witness that on my YouTube channel. But I want to uh, outline one thing first. On the journey to wealth, there are sacrifices that you have to make. And if you want to make them the way that God wants you to have them, then there are certain things that you definitely have to give up. The first thing is constant lust. And this is coming from a guy who has fallen into lust many, many times. I love women immensely. I love women, I love beauty, and I love aesthetics. Don't fall for that stuff, right? If you continue to, be, to stay enamored by women and lust, your money will never flow because your principles are not in alignment with the character that God needs you to have in order for you to make money. Step number two. In your approach, in your pursuit of wealth, understand that God gives you so that you may give to others. And that is powerful. You, are not, you have not been given wealth to hoard the wealth. You are given the wealth to give it to other people. And that's how God restores and keeps his uh, His people fed. And he answers the prayers of the widows and the ones that need the, uh, need the wealth uh, more than other people, right? So don't become wealthy and keep it for yourself. Become wealthy and have plans to give it away. And remember this, God's universal attribute, the greatest trait that God has in his heart is generosity and kindness because he has done that with his son. He does that with all ministries. His, he did that with Moses. Moses was kind and was leading the, the people, the Israelites out of the desert, out of poverty, out of slavery, right? And that's God's generosity, right? So in everything you do, be generous. In everything you are, in every way that you are, be generous. Be generous in how you live. Be generous in how you give. And you will see that in full fruit in your own, in my own, uh, my YouTube channel. And the last thing I want to say is this. Always be looking to support your family and your loved ones. Whoever your loved ones are, right? It's your wife, your kids, uh, the future that's going to come. Always, always, always give. Always, always shed light. Always be kind. Always give to those who have no answer. Always be kind to those who uh, don't have a way out. And don't be greedy or vengeful about, about what they have and what they don't have. Pursue people and their best selves. And remember that if abundance exists, even if you don't have it, it exists. Money is here. Money is here. Charisma is here. 
God's creation is here. It's all around us. And I will have it and I will give it away and it'll come back. And I don't need to steal it from you for me to have it. That's a powerful mindset to have, right? Stop thinking that the doors are closed. The doors are not closed, my friend. Heaven is open. Heaven is not on earth. Heaven is above. We will die and we will go somewhere. And on that day, we'll be judged. On that day, you will be judged if you denied the Son and the Father. And I accept the Son and I praise the Son and I accept the Father. But that also means that there's still work here to be done. Wealth is on the way. It is becoming and it is right now. Just remember, just the last thing I want to say to add to this is don't glorify the money. Glorify the purpose. The purpose leads to the money. Peace.